Thank you. Felt like Saturday night at Gillies. <laughs> yeah. We were talking about Gillies a while ago, Ralph. Did you ever play there? Did you ever do anything there? Did I ever play there? <laughs> Ralph, you had a hit record called Hello Fool. Yes, I did, didn't I? And, and what was that wonderful song you wrote for me? That I, I wrote? Yes. I've tried to forget it. Yes, me too. <laughs> I cry at ball I wrote a song right called uh, I Cry at Ball Games. <laughs> I was recording for Mercury, and I only had one record, and that was it, on Mercury. <laughs> and after, after they heard that, they said, well, we, we gave you a shot. <laughs> but you know, I, uh, and looking back on that, we, and the, the problem I had with it is I tried to copy your demo. And I thought maybe if I had done it some other way, people would have hit it. <laughs> That'll teach you. <laughs> that song wouldn't have been any good with, uh, with any demo singer. Oh, I don't know. Ray Charles might have done something yeah. with it. <laughs> never know. Ralph said he's insulted everybody in this room. Has anybody got a, got a story? I was doing an interview with Ralph one time, and my wife uh, went into labor. Oh, wow. Remember that, Ralph? No. In Texas. And I, I got a call, and she had gone into labor with my youngest daughter. And uh, Ralph said, well, we got just a little bit here more, and you can go. <laughs> <laughs> We're still rolling, you know? You know? <laughs> if, if, if she was in labor, that would have been your youngest. <laughs> yeah, that would be my youngest. <laughs> Bill. <laughs> hey, Bill. Bill. Ralph told me one time, this has stuck with a lot of the fans out there, he interviewed me after I did Rub It In. He said, Crash, he said, you're the only man I know can wear his pants out from the inside. <laughs> and that stuck with me. The fans still, they remember that, Ralph. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I did mean this is a compliment. I remember you, uh, you were doing all that hip shaking and swiveling and so forth. And uh, this lady came up to the edge of the stage, and her husband came and got her. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say, T? Well, I love you, Ralph, uh -oh. <laughs> to start with. There's a couple of things. <clears throat> I did Nashville now over 40 times, and I might be the only one in the room that Ralph made my career because y'all all had hits when y'all were doing Ralph. Y'all already had them. But I came out, and I mean, I got great FaceTime on your show, and people uh, knew who I was, and it was all thanks to you. I had a wonderful time on there. But I had a single that was out, the first one, and it broke the top 40, and I came on to sing. It was called Drowning in Memories, and then I sang a song called I Tell It Like It Used To Be, and Ralph pulled me over and said, that's the hit right there. And uh, another time, I was rocking pretty strong that day, and I wasn't on your show, but I, you remember the night I just ran in there and cut your tie off with those scissors and then ran back out? <laughs> yeah. I got it framed. Do you? Yeah. Hey, Bill. Uh, Roxanne told me she wanted me to share this story, and this is, if I can say it, it's so perfect because Ralph is here and Mo is here and Johnny, because they were on Ralph's show <laughs> the night that I told this story. Mo knows what I'm going to talk about. Yeah. And, and I had heard about a new beauty secret that I shared with them about using Preparation H on your face. Johnny's laughing because I thought he was going to fall on the floor. And, and I had heard that America's oldest teenager, this is what he used to look younger. I won't say who he is. I don't want to get sued in case it ain't. That would be good part. <laughs> anyway, I did not say that, so sue Mickey if anybody's watching. Anyway... What was so funny um, is we, I talked about that and I'd found out a couple things that if you was gonna do this, you should get a new tube if yeah. you already had some at home. <laughs> and, uh, and it kind of smelled a little funky. And so if you put some moisturizer yeah. with it, that made it not smell so bad. Mo said, he's afraid to use it, afraid to make his head shrink up real small, he said. <laughs> and, but, and so where I went after that, people kept giving me Preparation H for a long time. So I had enough to give his gifts at Christmas and stuff. But, uh, but a, a side part of that is something that happens, you know, a long time after that, because this stuff really is good, I'm telling you. All right. And, and uh, we were down in, in Florida, me and Roy, and we was in our coach, and I said, I need some preparation notes because skin is kind of dry in Florida, and I was out. And so uh, they had none at the truck stop, which amazed me. 
Yeah. They should have some at the truck stop. Anyway, and so down the street, we found out there's a Publix grocery store, and so it was real close to 11 o'clock at night. We drove up. Well, they're closed. I was so disappointed. Well, and there was a guy standing on the, the sidewalk there, and he had a little name tag, and he was the manager. Well, our bus we had at that time, I could lower this window, and so I said, are you closed? And he went, yes, but he motioned for me to stop. And so I lowered the window. And he said, we're closed, but if you'll tell me what you want, I'll go in there and get it. <laughs> now, and I, and I, I looked at him, and I could not think of one other thing that was in that store. I couldn't think of eggs, milk, bread, anything. And my husband's laughing over here, and I looked at him, and he said, I'm not helping you. <laughs> and so I thought, how bad do I want this? You know, and so I said, uh, well, really all I wanted was some preparation aids. And I'm laughing so hard, I can't even tell you. And he laughed, and he said, okay, I'll go get it. <laughs> and he turned around, he walked a few steps, and he looked back, and he said, do you want the original or a suppository? <laughs> I'm laughing so hard. And I said, just bring me the original. And so, and he goes and gets it and comes back. <laughs> and I said, how much is it? And he was like, five dollars. So I said, here's six bucks to keep the change. And we drove off, and, and we're just dying. And I said, I've never in my life been so happy that my name is not on my bus. <laughs> no, well, it's good, though. Okay. Anyway, I just wanted to give you an update, Ralph. Okay. Well, if you do that and you use it that way, you need to be careful because it will make your face want to sit down. <laughs> hey, if you like that one, you're going to love this one. Or this one. <laughs>